Hello again. It's Friday. It's the end of what week are we in now? Week 19 of 2024. Would you believe it? Dear me. Fast approaching the third, third, uh, third decade. That's not the right phrase at all. What am I talking about? Okay, get into things. Um, Norway done. Uh, yeah, good to be back in these videos, to be honest. Third one this week. <clears throat> Feel like already rebuilding a bit of momentum, which is good. The sun is out, so everybody's happy, and uh, we're all going to go outside and, and probably get a mild a bit of sunburn and, yeah, enjoy the, the beginning of the summertime, hopefully. Anyhow, uh, all that aside, um, not too much to report on. I, well, actually, I say that. The, one of the things I came brought up in the last video was that I felt like in a couple of cases, particularly with one or two clients, there was like things they'd handled well recently, but then also one or two of them in particular, there was like really good news around them and uh, and their businesses. Today has been a continuation of that. And I think I'm coming away from this week feeling really optimistic uh, for... I mean, I'm optimistic for all the clients, but in particular, a few of them are really kicking on now, which is super exciting. Um, I mean, even in areas that I don't work with them on necessarily, it's great to see their, their business evolving, them as leaders kind of stepping up and, and making better decisions or quicker decisions, or or just in general, probably having a clearer pulse on, on what they need to do and why. Um, so yeah, that's all good. And I... I was looking, you know, I'm, I'm well on track personally for my own targets for, for Q2 and we're not even halfway through the quarter yet. So I'm, again, it's things are in a good place. Uh, I think also I've alluded to this in the past about how poor target setting can just feel, unnes feel like unnecessary pressure. Great target setting can really kick you on and motivate you to, to push yourself. The way I've set my targets, for, this is probably the first time where I've set targets for the business that I'm like, yes, that is, that's healthy, that's motivating. It's not just pure pressure. And I even think back to when I started the business, I, I remember saying, and I said it to anybody that would listen, I gave myself like this six month roadmap to see if this would work. But that was, just, that was basically just pressure. Like you're going from having zero revenue to trying to prove something out. I mean, that is, that's nothing more than like, survive or die type thing um so anyway really really happy with that on that front um what else i think something i've done well this week that i have realized the power off when done well is introing people to other people that aren't my clients so what i've done well so far i'd say in the business is introing clients to other clients when it feels right and they've been able to have their own conversations then without me involved what i haven't really done so much of is uh intro clients to other people that i actually maybe haven't really spoken to but i know of through someone else or through the work they've done uh, and just by chance it's, it's kind of interesting there's been a few opportunities this week to do that and i think already yeah, there's something nice about saying to someone here is someone that you should speak to for very good reasons because they're going, you're going to help each other. And I think that is a, I mean, that's what making an intro is all about, right? It has to be a two way thing. Sure. There are times where you make an introduction, um, to a friend for someone that might be able to help them out, but maybe your friend can't offer them much back and that's all good and well, there's time and a place for that. But when I make intros, I'm really trying to make sure it's two people that can genuinely help each other or two people where there's that mutual benefit. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's an interesting thing from this week. There's not much left to do today, um, which is nice. I, In fairness, I think I do quite a good job on Fridays in particular of, I don't necessarily see Friday as like the weekend. I mean, or it's the beginning of the weekend technically. But what I mean by that is my working week doesn't end on a Friday. I don't really do too much at the weekend, but I like to just think that it's not like this cutoff point because there's an hour or two of work that can be done tomorrow or on Sunday, whenever I'm not doing anything else, that will really help me in the, the week ahead. And uh, yeah, I think just 
I just don't think it's particularly healthy to say, look, here's a cutoff point, I'm not doing anything all weekend. Not healthy for the business in the, the long run. Equally, I'm not someone that's going to sit here and say the flip of that, which is like, I work full days and Saturdays and Sundays. That's disgust. I definitely do not do that. So, yeah, that's, um, that's probably just a general observation beyond that. And what else? Uh, to be honest with you, not too much else has come up today. I think it's... I had a good session with the LinkedIn coach that I'm working with, and um, I was reflecting back on that. So I've been... I've got a post going out next week which touch on this touches on this sorry but I did my first LinkedIn post in in relation to this business in July um, so it's 10 months ago now and I think I've posted just shy of 100 times since then which by all means isn't that many I mean I've posted 100 times in 10 months uh, I will post 100 times in the next 5 months because I'm doing um or in the next four months, sorry, because I'm doing five posts a week. So the the pace is picking up. It's in a really good spot. What's going well is that the writing is, is so much more straightforward for me. Starting conversations with the right people is much more straightforward. There's a process there now where there wasn't before. Um, the ideas are already all mapped out, so I don't even have to think about ideas for what to write about. In general, that whole content creation process is so much more consistent. The stuff that isn't going so well or that I'm finding hard is still things like the formatting. Um, formatting to me is just like a visual thing. It's like I look at something and, and I know it's not quite right, but I don't really know what to do yet. And it's, yeah, you can put emojis and bullet points and stuff there, but there's a bit more to it than that, I think. And um, the other part in general, I kind of got frustrated this week a little bit. I think I've been a little bit lazy with my pipeline in relation to the quality of leads that are being qualified. <clears throat> so what I mean by that is my pipeline and the volume going into it is picking up, but the quality has maybe decreased because I'm not paying as much heed or attention to who I'm contacting or who I'm reaching out to or who I'm connecting with. So that was a big thing for this week, just trying to get on top of that and make sure that, again, I. I'm wasting the person's time and my own time if I try to connect with them and try to speak with them and then realize it's not right. A lot of the time in the last couple of weeks, I've known immediately whenever I've seen someone pop up that I can't help them. And that's not me being naive or not me being lazy. It's just, it, it's really obvious stuff about their title, their role, their business even their, their past roles, etc., which are all things to keep an eye on. So, anyhow, um, that's the area that I'm going to put more emphasis on. I'm going to try and get a better system in terms of connecting with people, have a look at that. Um, not dissatisfied with the process of connecting with people, sorry, I should be clear. It's more about who I'm trying to connect with, to be clear. So, yeah, that's it. The rest of the sessions with clients are all booked in for, the, for this month. Happy with the forward planning. And, um, yeah, I don't think there's too much else to report, so that's probably it. Is that like five minutes? It feels like a very short video. We'll see. I'm going to go finish my work and go outside. That's it. That's my wisdom. Those are all my words for the day. <laughs>